Hello, and welcome back to this Let's Play of, uh, fuck, I, I somehow opened the link that was on this page, to Memedy Syndral Song, 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 blah. Okay, let's, oh. Have we not finished this? Huh. No, it's got a tick mark. Oh yeah, because I did the other thing. Okay, let's let's talk to him. Oh, you're back already. I didn't even ask you to. Uh, did, did something else ask you to? Asking you to check on me? I came back because I wanted to see you. You actually wanted to. You know, it's sad, but I think that's the first time anyone's ever. I'm uh, glad, of course, you, to you too, of course. We can all uh, play music together if you want. No, let's charge each other's gems. Uh, yes. Good evening, Memedy. How are you? I'm uh, not bad, actually. Not too bad, actually. I'm very glad to hear that. Though, honestly, I'm a bit surprised. Didn't you sing with Dirge today? I did. And you're beaming. I hope that means you're able to help each other out a little bit. Yes. <clears throat> yes. I'm so glad to hear that. I really am. I care about Dirge a lot. He reminds me of some people I cared about a lot, a lot about once. I try to look after him as much as I can. I couldn't help them, but I can try to help him to make it up for it. Oh god, no. Is this like, we can't? Ugh. Oh yeah, something I figured out in between the two episodes. Uh, I think Kaf's big, like, miracle of keeping people alive is just fire. He basically lights a fire and so Winter doesn't kill them. I... Is that an ocarina right there? Is that supposed to be? Okay. But even if I can bring him fruit and care about his health, I can never seem to help him clear away the darkness he feels inside. He always seems so sad, and that makes me feel so sad too. The others don't like to spend time with him because of it. Even half tends to keep his distance. I wish I could do more to help him. Gods know I've tried so much. If you two became friends, ooh, that'd be so lovely. Maybe you could help him in ways that I can't. I'd still be here for both of you, whatever happens. Bye. Hope you rest well. Yep. Just not talking to Hammer ever again. Good evening, Nemedy. How was singing today? How was Dirge? He was telling me about death. Ah, uh, yes, I thought he might. He's always been a bit obsessed with it, with anything dark, really. I feel sorry for his lot in life. He certainly hasn't had it easy. I can understand why he'd want an escape from his pain. Death is an escape. Did he tell you that? How would he know? Perhaps we'll live again after this life is done. Perhaps we've lived before it began. Just because we don't remember it, doesn't mean it never happened. Our reality need not be based on entirely what we hold in our memory. So death might not be that bad? <clears throat> we shouldn't rely on our memories, or lack thereof, to know what has or hasn't happened. But we've no clear evidence that memories carry over beyond death. And without our memories, could we truly be us? Our memories define us. They're precious and they're worth protecting. As death may very well destroy them in my eyes, yes, it is bad. I've devotedly devoted my life to discovering a way to extend it. And it's fire, isn't it? And I succeeded. I've given this gift to others too. Our six day syndrome lives are long since over. Yet we, still we live as something else, something new. 
We're winstrels. Okay, that's that's also what I thought. Winstrels are like people who've survived the winter. Survivors of the winter. Don't dwell on death. You should focus on life. Is that what you're lucky to be experiencing right now? Who do you think you'll swing with tomorrow? I suggest you direct your mind towards that as you rest. I literally have no idea who, who it's gonna be, who, who's on this island. But I'm guessing it's gonna be whoever this tent is, or maybe this cave. One of these two, probably the tent. So I'll just disappear one day. I'm here now and then I'll just be not here anymore, nothing. I didn't know that when I'd woke up into life that happened. Not that I'd have chosen to wake up in this day now. Day met nightmare, I guess. Life hurts. But at least I'm not the only one who's hurting. The person who I sang with today was too. I feel sorry for him. But I also feel a bit better, I think. Just knowing I'm not the only one who's broken. I feel a bit less broken, maybe. It sounded like he'd always been broken. He never changed to being not broken. I won't either. I'll just be stuck in the dark forever. The only escape would be into more darkness, which would be even worse. Blah. I bet death hurts a lot too. I thought at the beginning that life was just going to be about singing fun songs. I didn't think things would turn out so awful. Every new person I meet is just more unpleasant than the last. Oh come on, nothing can be more unpleasant than Hammer. The next one will see me and just punch me right in the face. Not even a hello. Just a big full bodied fist smash that'll knock me to the ground. And my teeth will fall out and everything. Do they even have teeth? They'll just kick me constantly as I try to get up. The person, not the teeth. And the teeth will also kick me. <laughs> because they are part of me, so they're awful like that. And they'll just scream at me non-stop. Both the person and my awful teeth. Their song will just be screaming. Then we'll take turns smashing our faces into rocks. That'll be their instrument. A rock played by face smashing. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. <laughs> Damn it. I guess you're probably going to have to pause and I'll probably look better if I did that. Whatever that was. The person would be using the rock hammer already made to look like my ugly face. I vaguely remember that. So then they could destroy it with their own face. I suppose this next person will be a fish. Also their song will be about how I have to chop off my arms because I'm a dongo or something apparently and dongos don't get to have arms. I don't want to chop off my arms. I don't even know how I do that. They tell me in the song, though. Well, um... Oh, and I should say to them that we should charge each other's gems. Uh, and they'd both laughing and screaming at the same time. It would sound almost as nice as my voice. Life is pretty much just all about hurting. More and more the longer I go on. The next person probably won't be that bad. I should go find them and see, I suppose. The fourth day, oh, smile. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna be like, just be happy and smile. It's day four, the, all, the air is already starting to chill. I only have six days, I'll die soon. There are still songs you've yet to sing. The other two 
Oa installs have set up their tents on the other side of the island. You'll likely encounter Vivian's fur. Mm. She's a lively one. Dirge might have talked to you about death, but Vivian's mm. will lend a strong support to the value of life. You should visit her right away. Are you getting through life or all right, Navadi? Are you resting well and feeling energetic? That's a joke, just like me. Um, I'm just trying to meet everyone and sing their songs. It can sometimes be exhausting, getting things wrong all the time, but it's fun sometimes too, so I'm surviving. I hope you're more than just surviving, but if you're short on energy, Vivian has more than enough to share. I recommend singing her song with her, it's a lot of fun. I'll always be here if you need me. And we're not talking to Hammer. Uh, hello again. I'm, uh, happy to see you again. Oh, this is what I imagine happiness is like, huh? I've, uh, heard about it, you see. Um, I wouldn't really know what happiness feels like myself. Because I make him happy, but he doesn't make me happy. I'm disgustingly rude. Ah, uh, haha, yes. Vivens knows what happiness is. I wonder sometimes whether she's ever felt any other way. Life is a light that burns. That line was uh, partly inspired by being around her during the winters. I don't mean that I dislike her. She's just so bright and I'm not. I always have this feeling that uh, I'm wrong in some way for not being as bright as she is. Something like that. But I don't want to put off scene with her. None of us would like to be able to create mu None of us would be able to create music if it wasn't for her. So I'm uh, incredibly grateful to her for that. We can, uh, do that together again if you'd like. Uh, share my song, I mean. Or if you want to experience a vivid song for yourself, I hope you get something out of it. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, God! Yep. Oh, hey ya! You must be that new Oa who was saved from the sea. Oops, did I? Okay. Recording's still going. I accidentally clicked off screen. Remedy was talking about you, but she didn't tell me your name. I should ask to charge gems with her. Um, I'm called Memedy, apparently. Ooh, I love the name Memedy. Melody. Oh, pff, she said Melody. <laughs> I love the name Melody. If I wasn't called Vivence, I'd want to be called that. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce Vivence. Vivis. Just like that. Just like you did. Vivance. Vivance. Vivash. Vivash? Vivash. But I said Vivas, or maybe Vives. No, you didn't. You said Vivance. I'm saying Vivance. Yes, Vivance. Well, I'm called Vivance anyway because I love music and I love life. Life's just one big long rainbow song we sing along and it's just so amazing and great and I love it. The name Mel- Yep, she did say Melody. The name Melody is magnificently musical, so for me it positively radiates light and light and joy. And that's a key. I'm not called Melody. And when are we going to get into the face smashing? Oh, I... I... <laughs> Yeah, I think at this point. Oh, but is something the matter, Melody? For such a brilliant name, I've not seen a beaming face. Better start smashing it then. I mean, she did just call me ugly. Might as well. 
<laughs> Is something wrong, kitty? Might as well. I've got something that'll turn that frown right upside down. It's my song, which I wrote to be a cheerful journey straight up to the lofty highs of Smilesville. Is she part of a cult? There's no Mesa Village on this island, so we have Smilesville instead, but it only exists on our faces when our teeth are just beaming with joy. I love smiling just as much as I love life and music, and I love them a whole lot. Something really wrong with my kitty. I think the way that I'm voicing this character is like putting him off somehow. You okay, my kitty? My teeth will only be smiling when they're all smashed out and they'll laugh at, they laugh at me. I love music because it has the power to create pearly face crescents because it's just so amazing and full of joy and it's great. So I think we should play music right away instead of talking because I'm excited about it. My song is the most fun one, but you don't have to take my word for it, because I want to show you right now. Oh, we have four minutes left. We might as well start trying. Music is the most important thing in the world, and I want my song to be the joy to play. I want it to be full of life and a journey full of up and downs, but mostly ups. It's not very easy, but I think it's really fun if you get good at it. I won't say any more words because I want us to get to the music, so let's do that right now. Oh my god! Hey, I'm playing! Ah! No, it's too... It's already too difficult. Whoops. Oh my god, I can't! My song is pretty full on and it's hard to get right the first time, sorry about that. It's incredibly fun to play once you've learned it, smiley face, but learning might take a few attempts. It'll be worth it though, believe me. Bye. Okay, I'll be here for a while if you want to come back and play more music. Oh god, honestly. I, mean, I was about to say I'd take Hammer over this, but at least this character is kind of humorous in how, ridiculous, how ridiculously over the top she is. Okay, well, bye for now, everyone.